What's going on, Monster Jam fans, and welcome back to Scissor TV. You could be anywhere in the world right now, but you're hanging out with us, and I thank you for that. If you want to see some amazing Monster Jam crashing, smashing, freestyling action, you, my friend, have come to the right place. But enough talking. Let's get into the action. So let's get ready to monster! What's up, Monster Jam fans? We have some exciting stuff for you this week, and let's get right into it with a freestyle from Monster Mutt Husky. Oh, coming out strong with the backflip into a moonwalk on top of the center pillar. That was awesome. Looks like he's trying to line up his next move. Nope, nope, we're going for some donuts. No, we love to see that here into a sideways backflip moonwalk. I think Monster Mud Husky is just making up tricks as he goes along. And a front flip. The crowd loves it as Husky loses half of his nose. Some more big air into a two-wheel bicycle using all of that dirt and track car wheeling around. Let's see if he can get out of it, can he? Oh, he does recover. And another backflip off the Connex into a moonwalk stoppy. This dog is a professional. You love to see it, ladies and gentlemen. Some big air over the center. Monster Mutt looks like he's gonna leave it all on the track for us tonight. Oh, and using a little bit of sideways air as he rolls over. Can he recover? Come on, Husky. Yes, you can. Every dog has his day, and today is your day, my friend. Line it up for one last trick. Let's see what he's got. Oh, and a backflip. Amazing. Oh, I think he's got a little bit more for us. A little bit of air into a stoppy. Let's see what he's got. His time's coming to an end. Lining up. Come on, Husky. Oh, ho, ho, ho. and finishing with a backflip moonwalk right on the center stage. I appreciate the effort there, Monster Mutt Husky. We love donuts. We loved watching your freestyle event. All right, guys, we're moving into our second event of this episode, and we're gonna be following Sparkle Smash as she goes on a circuit race against Blue Thunder, El Toro Loco, Monster Mutt, and Backwards Bob. Now, we've seen this course before, and we know that there's a, whoa! Sparkle Smash tried to overtake the pack and was denied. All right, right on Whiplash's tail, trying to move into the front. Oh, look at that big air in the background that Blue Thunder is getting. All right, we're coming up to our quick turnaround point and Monster Mutt Dalmatian is the first one through. El Toro Loco is hot on the heels of Sparkle Smash as she is starting to overtake the pack with Monster Mutt hot on her heels. A two-wheel bicycle to land this. She's got to get back going the right directions. I, is she going for a shortcut? Oh, she is. If you see the rest of the competitors all went one way and she said, nope, I'm going to make my own road. And that road is taking her over a mountain. This is insane. You never know what you're going to see here on Scissor TV when we've got some freestyle competition. Coming up into the last part of the race, two wheels across, and it looks like Monster Mutt Dalmatian is your winner. Sparkle Smash finishing in second. But it looks like she's gonna have a chance to get her revenge as she races against Earthshaker, Northern Nightmare, Max D, Backwards Bob, and Stone Crusher. All right, as I go across the bridge, Earthshaker is trying to make his way to the middle of the path. As they're coming around that 
first turn, we've got Sparkle Smash, Stone Crusher, Northern Nightmare, all in front of Earthshaker. And it looks like Max D and Sparkle Smash are fighting for first place. But there's a lot of race left, so anything can happen. A whole lot of rubbing going on in that turn as our big old monster trucks crash into each other. Some air off that small hill as Earthshaker cartwheels over but is able to recover. We've got a small narrow path as we go through the campgrounds and we've got a lot of open road right here as we hit our halfway point. We've got to touch this and turn around. Oh, Earthshaker hitting it in the air and making sure he doesn't end up in a head-on collision with any of his monster truck competitors. All right, guys, it's a straight shot to the finish. Who's going to be able to get there? We already know where we came from and where are we going. Earthshaker is trying to make it through the hills and valleys here and maintain balance on all four of those big old BKT tires. All right, we see Sparkle Smash and Max D are in first and second place with Earthshaker bringing up third as they're getting ready to go into their last turn and then it's a straight shot to the finish. It's gonna be close, folks. Let's see who comes out a winner. Oh, a two-wheel bicycle and looking up front, it looks like your winner is Max D in first place. Sparkle Smash in second, and Earthshaker pulling up third. Our next competition is going to be on the inside of the arena, and it's going to be a head-to-head -head between Gravedigger and Dragon. Let's see what these legends of the arena have for us tonight. It's a short, tight track tonight, as you can see that it's oval shaped with one jump on each side and Gravedigger has just finished up lap one going into lap number two holding a slight lead on Dragon. Some nice big air and our competitors are neck and neck. It looks like it's going to come down to a photo finish on this last lap. Who's it going to be? Gravedigger's pulling out in front. Can it be him? Can he hold on? And oh, he does. Gravedigger narrowly inches out and defeats Dragon. What a race. It was quick, but so exciting. All right, guys, and now we're going to be following Backwards Bob as we go through the hills of the Highland. He's going to be racing against Soldier of Fortune <laughs> and getting knocked out of the way right at the beginning. Soldier of Fortune says this is his house, and he won't be disrespected in it. Some two-wheel bicycle as Backwards Bob is trying to catch up to Soldier of Fortune, but he is just putting in so much work and so much speed, he is staying in front of him at this point. Oh, a big jump, and Backwards Bob is able to bounce with it, maintain his balance, and keep on going. No loss of speed there. So far, this race has pretty much just been between Backwards Bob and Soldier of Fortune, but oh no, I spoke too soon. That mistake allowed Pirate's Curse to go right in front of him. All right, we're coming up to our turnaround point and Backwards Bob was able to take back second place. Another Big jump, here comes a second one. Can he make the turn? He does, no problem. Let's get that speed back and see if we can get back up front. Some giant air as we're getting close to the end of this course. Backwards Bob really needs to turn it on. We're gonna be going up the side of the mountain. And I think this is where he can really make up some ground. You see how well he went up that, didn't even slow down a little. And I think right now, yes, Backwards Bob has taken the lead and nothing but the open road stands between him and that checkered flag. All right, this is gonna be our last big hill to climb for the race. Can Backwards Bob stay in first? 
Let's see if he can do it. We've only got a little bit more of track to go. This is the last turn. Oh, here we go backwards, Bob. Come on, buddy. Give it all you've got. Let's see. And there we go. Your winner, backwards, Bob. And oh, Soldier of Fortune coming in second a little too late. All right, we're taking it to the wasteland now for another big circuit race where Pirate's Curse is starting right off telling Ice Cream Man to get out of his way. Oh, and it looks like Avenger just knocked over El Toro Loco as Pirate's Curse and Avenger fight for first and second place out here in the desert. El Toro Loco is going to be trying to push Pirate's Curse around. We know that this is the home turf of El Toro Loco, and he's not going to be dissuaded as Mohawk Warrior also goes in front of Pirate's Curse right now. It is anybody's race at this point. There's a lot of different paths, a lot of different roads, and oh, look at that giant air from El Toro Loco and Ice Cream Man coming off the top rope but didn't stick the landing. Oh, and Inktober is now saying he won't be kept out of first place. He's going to push and bump as much as he can to try and overtake Pirate's Curse. Oh, and he does. All right, there's a little bit of a slowdown there. Mohawk Warrior ended up messing it up for Inktober, and he was able to get through. So now Pirate's Curse is holding on to second place pretty steady, trying to fight for first place. El Toro Loco is up there, but Ice Cream Man is not far on Pirate Curse's tail. All right, El Toro Loco still has a pretty decent lead. Oh no! And Pirate's Curse just, I think he just hit a rock. Oh, and that allowed Ice Cream Man to go ahead. And now we've got Ice Cream Man trying to fight for second place. Oh, and there is your finish. We've got Ice Cream Man Avenger, but El Toro Loco is your winner for this race. Oh, that was so exciting. But speaking of the winner of the last race, he's taking it to the Arena Championship for a Demolition Derby circuit. Let's see how much destruction that El Toro Loco can do here right now. If it's in his way, he's gonna smash it. All right, going up those bumpers nice and slow so he can hit all those balloons, all those crates. There is nothing that he wants to leave standing up there in the middle of this arena. Cars, porta johns, fences, if it's there, he is knocking it over. Oh, and a backflip just to maybe get a quick turnaround and show everybody that he can do whatever he wants because he owns this arena as he does that backflip to smash through those boxes. That was insane. Making sure he releases all those balloons, wants to destroy everything in his path while he bicycles around. Oh, smashing into that Connex wall. And El Toro Loco, I think he just set a new destruction record. And I think Avenger is ready to wreck some shop right now with a one-way circuit race against Alien Invasion, Zombie, and four other monster trucks. You can see Monster Mutt Rottweiler trying to push on Avenger and not let him get any farther ahead, but as we know in these races, the fun starts as soon as the trucks start crashing into each other. And that should be happening any minute now. Let's see what's go as they're approaching one another. We're going to get some air and Avenger <laughs> is able to miss everything. It looks like he went left, they went right. That worked out for him and that's why he's holding on to first place right now as he's traversing the wasteland. Oh, in a head 
on collision with Blue Thunder and Jurassic Attack not far behind. That one hurt and Avenger now has dropped a third place, but he knows what he has to do to get back where he belongs. Oh, taking it nice and high on those ramps to try and get some speed to roll back in the bowl. Let's see what happens down here in the plain boneyard. Oh, and Avenger is playing it safe. You see that he does not want to have another head-on collision like he did up top just a few moments ago. He's in second place and has his sights set on first, and he will center for nothing but the best. All right, we're getting ready to start our final lap, and let's see. Oh, oh, oh it was a monster truck pile up right there, but Avenger and Monster Mutt Rottweiler somehow managed to not get hit. It looks like this race is strictly between the two of them. As we're coming into the last part, Avenger decides to go wide right, and he's going to push towards the center of the aircraft boneyard. You saw Monster Mutt just jump over him, and oh, I think that was, uh, I think that was Blue Thunder or Whiplash, or I don't even know. There's so much craziness going on in this race, but I do know that Avenger is back in first. He's got his sights set on the checkered flag. All he has to do is not hopefully hit someone crossing the finish line, and yes, Avenger is your winner. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, as Jurassic Attack, Whiplash, and Zombie all smash into him. All right, for our last race, we're going to be following everyone's favorite cool bus higher education as they race around Gravedigger's castle. You can see that Gravedigger the legend does not want to let higher education pass. So there are several different routes that our Monster Jam trucks can take. So let's see who's going left, who's going right as we come right underneath the steps to Grave Digger's castle. Okay, it looks like the legend and higher education are both going right. Bold move, let's see how they take this jump. Oh, and it was enough for higher education to be able to just eke in front of Grave Digger the legend. Great driving by higher education. All right, this is our halfway point, so now the monster trucks need to find their way back, and oh, Grave Digger the Legend just went right in front of Fire Education. He just blasted past him. Also, why Bakugan Dragonoid is hot on the heels of Higher Education. They are fighting for first, second, and third as we're closing in on the end of this race and this overall competition. I don't know who's gonna win. Bakugan Dragonoid just launched over him and so did Monster Mud, but that was enough to cause a crash and allow Higher Education to take the lead. Oh, and Dragonoid just smashes into the back of him, launching him forward. I don't know what's going on with Higher Education. He almost seems like he's lost and unsure how to get to the finish line. But you know who's not? Gravedigger the Legend and Back to Stand Dragonoid. This is their race, their territory, and they're not going to let anyone else win. All right, Higher Education is locked in third with Baku Dragon in second, and oh, Grave Digger the Legend is your winner. It's no surprise, because he did have home field advantage. All right, guys, once again, what an awesome time we had. I had so much fun, and I can't wait to do this with you again next week. Until then, be good to one another, and always treat others as you would want to be treated. So smash that like button, and we'll 